So before we start today's video, uh, Andy's sick, so I'm editing today's video. Everyone give your thoughts and prayers to Andy, and hopefully he feels better, I and mean, he's, he's got his drugs, he's good. Anyway, let's do this like it's early 2021. Oh dear god, I don't want to go back to that. No. Power armor is basically a fursuit for people who want to be robots. Just, just shut up! Sorry if something I post shows up for you based on your likes. Believe me, I didn't want to be there either. Same goes to YouTube community posts. I'm a creative person. And what have you created? Problems. Heavy from TF2 is just basically a Russian Mr. Incredible. Fight me. Hello, welcome to my blog, which has a lot of things, including content and characters. Look at all this content and characters and characters and content and content and characters and content. Now the female bottom surgery could be referred to as ding dong ditch. I guess. Listen, people are starting to realize Tumblr isn't dead, so we all need to be as cringe as possible for the next few months. It's vital to our survival. You don't understand. You don't understand. The horse plinko joke is not working. Hopefully this next bit will do it. Gregory, do you want to join a Zoom call and play Among Us, Gregory? Gregory, answer me. What do you mean Among Us is cringe? That's pretty sus. Living in the suburbs is like mall, movies, mall again, go to Target, go to GameStop, back to the mall, Barnes and Nobles, back to the mall, Chili's, back to the mall, eat hot chip, lie, and I'm sick of it! I'm sorry, God, please can forgive me. I would give anything to go to Barnes and Nobles and the dinner at Chili's with the lava mountain cake. Please, Lord, take me back! I'll never complain again! No, 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 no. It's too late. You fucked us all over. All because you didn't want to go to Barnes and Nobles again. How dare you? You know what? Fuck you! Bad New Year! <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Oops! A post for the bitches that used to get in trouble for reading under the desk during class in elementary school. This one's for you. It's interesting how we channel music became shorthand for millennial existential despair. It was supposed to be cheerful and quirky, but as the me's are symbolic of ourselves, they inherited our agony! Uh, as someone who didn't have a Wii, are you guys okay? No. Well, hey there! You reached the Tumblr checkpoint! Oh god, not again. Make sure to properly EB your DBs. Girl will not be tolerated. All glory to Glup Shitto. Avoid Scrunkly and Scrimblow at all costs. And please, for the love of God, don't let the horse out of the Plinko. Don't do it. If I find out you did it, I will come find you. And I will. Trample you like a horse in a hospital! Hey. Notice me, senpai? Delete this off the internet. Now! Emotionally, I have little pink hearts floating around my head like a cartoon character who's in love. Yeah. If I die, taxidermy and put me in a funny little outfit like those mice on Etsy. Do it, you won't. I think it would be very funny for, like, characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order, and the bartender sighs and goes, <sighs> Species and age, while pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. Oh my god, Andy, write this down. The host at our Airbnb has the most talkative cat! Um, that is the host. Guys, they're putting all kinds of stuff in a sandwich recently. Check it out when you have the chance. It's gonna blow your mind. Open world sandbox game taking place in a single hallway. The back rooms. You're literally thinking of the back rooms. Hey, what are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Stop on following me! I am normal about characters. Said while gripping sink staring into mirror. I swear, cosmic wonders make sense! Right, Andy? It makes sense, right? Writing prompt. The legendary sword of power was lost in the final battle, shattered into many pieces. Thousands of years later, its broken shards ended up in the recycling plant and repurposed into mundane, everyday items for the modern family. I... I need this. Oh, ew, 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 ew! What happened to the desktop layout? Why are the like and reblog buttons miles apart? Social distancing. 
Once I was babysitting my neighbor's six-year-old and she asked me why I was so ugly. And without thinking, I said, I'm you from the future. And she cried for like 30 minutes. Congratulations, your subconscious thinking scarred a six-year-old for life. Hope you're happy. All straight people ever have died. So heterosexuals, you might want to reconsider your decisions. Straight? Straight. Straight? Straight. Straight. They'll never find the body is a boring threat. Threaten that they'll never stop finding the body. They'll be recovering pieces of you for at least three months. You'll be alive for at least two of them. Fuck, that's terrifying. Bro, bro, you better shut the fuck up before I look at you one day and feel warm and realize I've fallen in love with you, bro. I'm serious. Quit it, dude. You, dude, just, just stop it. It can't happen. Right? Right? So I got paired with a super hot guy for a project in my criminal justice class. And he just came up to me and said, Oh my god, you know what we are? We're partners in crime. Get it? And then we both changed each other's contacts and our phone to partner in crime. And now, I kind of want to marry him. Nearly three years later, I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever. Andy, stop the video, this is too cute! Medieval times? No, you heard me wrong. I'm from the medieval times. Just right in the middle of the worst time ever. Guys, I need happier than a necromancer in a natural history museum to become a known phrase immediately. Sir, if you touch the fossil exhibits, I will personally kill you and then bring you back. Because that's how I roll. Wait, am I the necromancer or the god in this? I don't know. Hello, White Mutual. Before you is a charcuterie board with 15 different types of cheeses. If you manage to go 12 hours without touching the cheeses, you can leave this room. Good luck. Hey, I'm getting off this cool cheese plate while you're talking. Can you repeat that, please? Oh, God. She's really good. Andy, come over here. They got Wesley Dale. I'm just crackers about cheese. Bruh. Neil Gaiman, you're still alive? No, this is a haunting. From here on out, it gets really scary. Another strong contender for the most Neil Gaiman thing posted by Neil Gaiman. If anyone was hunting Tumblr, it would be him, let's face it. <coughs> I'm right here. Sometimes it blows my mind that there are people that don't wear glasses and contacts. Like, they can literally see with no aid. Like, they wake up and just be out here seeing. What a wild concept. People say stuff like, lol, don't you hate it when you look up in the middle of the night and see a spider on your ceiling? Like, bitch! I could have Nicholas II, last czar of Russia, hanging from my ceiling fan and I would be none the wiser. Super who lock this, Hannibal fandom that. You're all so focused on reviving old tricks, you're not even noticing our strongest card in this fight to keep Tumblr cringe. It's time to release the Eddie Venom shippers. Uh, Eddie Venom shippers aren't cringe? We're right? Eyes, lungs, c**ks. So many snacks, so little time. I just want to steal fictional men's gender. Is it too much to ask for? Hello everyone, this is Snom. I'm here to let you know that it's all going to be okay. If not soon, then in the future. Poison hurts until you take the time to stop and treat it. Have a great day slash night. Thank you, Snom. Bless you. Well, rip to everyone killed by gods for their hubris. But I'm different. And better. Maybe even better than the gods. Hey, why is there a storm cloud floating above me? But what can you actually do with a degree in insert subject here? Well, write fan fiction with a high degree of accuracy in a very specific field. Next question! I think Tolkien ghost wrote this. I shall take that as an incredibly strong compliment. New Eminem redesign? Ugh, bitch! You just put sneakers on them. Also, the brown one still has pumps, and the blue one still has his old shoes. You didn't redesign shit. Fuck you, Mars. A marine biologist I know signs his emails off with best fishes. And this pleases me enormously. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. Dude, you're making this vivisection really difficult. Can you just, like, stay still? Wait, what the fuck happens in Danny Phantom? LP, was this not about Danny Phantom? Because if not, fucking wild. What? WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENS TO DANNY PHANTOM?! Me. I'm going to write today. Also me. I'll keep all my ideas for plots and characters right here, and then one day, I'll die. <sighs> me today. 
Relatable. Hey, what's the saddest meal you can think of? <sighs> this one. Cheesy peasy. Dude, this dish looks like the living embodiment of depression. All right, listen. Gay farmers are not for the consumption of capitalism. They're for the consumption of the cheese made by my she-they neighbor's goats in exchange for the tomatoes and basil I grew. For anyone curious as to whether or not you can make spaghetti in a tea kettle, the answer is yes. You are the future. Ah, oh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Andy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is attached to the video. That <laughs> is treason! <laughs> Any kiss could be the kiss of death, depending on the severity of your allergies and what your kissing partner has been eating. Or if they had a knife or a tongue. Yeah, or if they had a knife or a tongue. Cats are so fake, like they're theoretically related to apex predators, and yet they weigh 8 pounds, sleep 20 hours a day, and scream if you feed them half an hour later than usual. I deeply sympathize, because I also like to sleep an unreasonable amount and yell when I'm hungry. Incidentally, you are also an apex predator. Purchased a Sans Undertale plush from my classroom. I've been torturing my students by pretending I don't know who he is. The look of pain on their faces when I tell them his name is Sam is worth every dollar I spent on him. <laughs> Your Honor, it was just a feminine urge. Your client sent the entire mall on fire. I wonder how many people are going to use this image to explain Vanny from Security Breed. So disappointing to hear people poke fun at Apple fanboys. There's nothing wrong with enjoying a nice honey crisp. I prefer them sliced. Yeah, no one tell them. Why are there so many posts about asexuals being immune to sirens? People, sirens don't lure you in with sex, necessarily. They sing about whatever it is that you want most. They could sing about Mothman or Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and guess what? Then your asexual pirate is fucking dead. Damn, you right. I just can't resist Mothman. Fuck. Ate one day go by when I'm scrolling on this site that I don't go, I'm not reading that shit. <laughs> No offense, guys, but that's literally, like, majority of the submissions that I get that are, like, three images long and, like, nine threads going on at once. No. Don't have the brain power. New favorite joke! A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers, and says, Five beers, please. I, I don't get it. No one explain it. Hey, which way does a cyclops wing their eyeliner? Tumblr using greenhouse is asking the real questions. It doesn't matter, because nobody's going to criticize their makeup. What? Was that... Was that a motherfucking Odyssey pop? Why does this old picture of MatPat look like the human equivalent of the Doge image? It also just feels weird seeing that this is the original photo. The thing he keeps manipulating. It, it's this. It's this image right here. How? How? Hey, anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fine, free, and the trees like to gossip about it afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent. Just like Bugs Bunny. I fear the day that someone tries to sell a Tumblr post as an NFT. I want specifically this post to become an NFT. If someone sells this post as an NFT and doesn't buy me a literal house, I will break my no curses rule and send a pox to your home! How is Boku no Hero Academia anime of the decade? They aren't even anime of the hour of the minute of the second! The notes on this post were so toxic that staff just axed them. Damn! I regret to inform you, I'm hashtag also trash. You ever just click on a fanfic and read the first word and go, SHUT UP! And exit? I'm surprised no one has actually sent a response post to this going, yeah, my fanfic. Why must birds be so damn loud? Because they're birds, Richard. Will someone tell them to shut it because my broom is not long enough to shoo them away? You can tell a lot by a woman's hand. For example, she has hooves. Horse. I'm watching a documentary about rats and this guy's like, they say there's a rat for every single person in New York City. And I know he's talking about like population numbers, but it kind of sounds like he's trying to tell everyone in New York that they have an individually assigned rodent friend. And I think that's beautiful. I think we just got a glimpse into the sequel of Ratatouille. It's a still just Ratatouille, but there's a two in, in the title. You see it? Andy, put it, put it up if they don't see it. 
New term that's completely inclusive. Everybody on Earth. Wow. Wow, astronaut phobia never sleeps. The alien exclusion is off the charts with this one. Hey, what about those of us who are bodiless? You ever think about that? I want gay cafes. Like gay bars, except no drunk people or loud music. Instead, there's coffee and cinnamon buns and pleasant conversations. See, this is what we need. A non-alcoholic, non-sexual place for LGBT groups that is inclusive to younger people. I'm here, I'm queer, and I can't drink beer. Kinda weird that this doesn't exist, actually. Ugh, I fucking hate fruit flies. Literally, get out of my face, I'm not a fruit! Wait. I I'm curious as to what J.R. Tolkien's real name is, but I'm scared to find out that it isn't actually Jolkin Rolkin Rolkin. <laughs> fucking hold on. Okay, I, I, can, I can do this, I can do this. <clears throat> Jolkin Rolkin. What the fuck? Okay, once more, once more. <clears throat> Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkien. <laughs> Jolkin, Rolkin, Rolkin, Tolkien. It's fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? Before we begin today's video, it's a... It's a very special one for Andy here. This is the 69th video Andy has edited for the channel. So would you all please rise for one glorious nice. Nice. Okay, moving on. Tonight, long sleeve got scrunched up while putting on jacket. Three dead, ten injured. More at eleven. Bird fact. Everything on Earth is either a bird or not a bird. I mean, I mean, it's right, it's right. DIVERSITY WIN! The snowstorm keeping you from going to work is bisexual! Look at it! Beautiful! They're more than horses to me. They're horses! I've never held hands with a boy before. What if I get pregnant? What if he gets pregnant? Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. What anime is this? Hey, thank you nature for pre-slicing oranges for us. You didn't have to, and you did it anyway. That was cool of you. Are you living or are you just jumping from one obsession to the other to run away from yourself? What are you, the coping mechanism police or something? Get out of here! Today I learned Judith Love Cohen, who helped create the abort guidance system which rescued the Apollo 13 astronauts, went to work on the day she was in labor. She took a printout of a problem that she was working on to the hospital. She called her boss and said she finished the problem and gave birth to Jack Black. You know, it's the last two words catch you like a chair to the back. It's also weird because <laughs> I know one is to assume baby Jack Black, right? <laughs> but my dumbass brain immediately went, wow, she gave birth to a full grown Jack Black. Cool. But men. I would make an excellent goon. I'd be like, alrighty, boss, and then fuck it up instantly. I'm really whatever the opposite of a manic pixie dream girl is, like, Depressed Goblin Nightmare Man, that's me. Also, Stimmy Stuff, so love your name. Is it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February, and it always fucks me up. I think having a little dragon I could carry around in my pockets would fix all of my problems. Literally all of them. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Okay, so we all love hyperfixation, but does anyone else ever avoid certain things because you feel like you don't have the time to be fixated on that? Or that you aren't in the right headspace for this to become your latest obsession? I mean, considering that I said that about Legends Arceus, like, I would never have the time to play it, and then I just spent the previous 48 hours finishing it front to back. Yeah! Yeah, that's exactly what it was. One of the best kind of Pokemon designs is where they're just like an absolute blob of a creature. Like you made them with an ice cream scoop. And look who's in the middle. Our boy. Our bestest boy. Love you, Snam. Yeah, I'm a she-they. Unshe-they's my katana and slices you in half. I've been he-it. I now pronounce you dead. 
was were. Gender isn't a game! Actually, gender is the game. And you just lost it. Son of a 